Okay guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to do exercise nine for surface modeling and it's gonna be of this part over here. Um, bear in mind, this might be a little bit uh, more complicated for beginner level. I'll consider this intermediate level, all right? So uh, yeah, let's get into this. And I also would like to apologize for not dropping this earlier. I've been having some technical issues and I've also been super busy so I never really got down to drop to dropping this video on the day that I said I was going to drop it. All right, so let's get into this. Surface exercise nine, that's what it's going to be called. All right, so let's start off with a darting plane. And then I want to draw all the sketches, okay? So, darting plane. I want to say that this darting plane is going to go up. Oops. Do this again. Okay, there we go, 19. All right, so now I'm gonna start off with the first sketch on the bottom plane here. And it's gonna be a circle, diameter 80. All right, and let's do another sketch on this face over here. And let's offset this opposite direction by four. And this opposite direction by 15. And let's convert these two lines into construction line. Let's do an arc, three point arc. The center point is going to be here to there. Counterclockwise. and clockwise. Okay, there we go. Just another arc. Here, this is gonna be tangent to that one. I wanna say from here to here, I have a height of 104 okay and then from here to here it's going to be 80 okay let's create another arc over here i'm going to say the same thing this and this is going to be tangent the radius here is going to be, oh, okay, the radius is exactly that, 36, okay. That's the radius. And I want to create a line here, and that's going to be construction line. And this is going to be from here to here. 84. This is going to be 170. Okay. Now I want to do another arc. Midpoint from this line to midpoint on that line. There we go. And this is going to be 90. Okay. I think we have everything we need. Let's get out of our sketch and let's create another sketch. So insert sketch, this plane now, I'm gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do offset for and 15. Construction and construction. And I want to do arc. Three point arc. Counterclockwise. And there we have it. Another arc. This time 
I'm going to put a reference point over here. Right. Point here. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to distance is going to be from here to here it's going to be 45 divided by 2 all right that's part of the sketch that I need now I'm going to do slots diameters of five not five slots more or less I'll just put it here one two three four five let's add some dimensions to this okay now so this is 50 this is 40 30 actually no this is 60 this is 50 40 30 20 and the height goes from here to the bottom is going to be 25. So now let's align all these center points with this line. All right. There we go. All right. And we can exit the sketch. All right. I want to go back to sketch two. There, I noticed there's something missing, all right, there. So I wanna go back and I'm gonna add another arc here, which goes from here to here. And let's add some dimensions. Ninety six. not letting me because of this constraint over here all right there we go it should do it and that's going to be 44 and this is going to be radius 115 all right now this sketch is complete so let's continue go back all right there we have the sketches that we need all right, but we need maybe one or two more sketches. So now I'm gonna add a datum. Okay, there we have it. And I'm gonna do this sketch over here. Reference point, point, this is the point I need. Circle, two point circle. It's going to be twenty. Right. Construction line here, and I'm going to add another line here and here, and trim what I don't need. There we go. Let's just do some auto constraint to simplify things. There we go. 
and let's exit now we're going to do one more sketch that's going to be on this plane over here and it's going to be a circle There it is, that's the point I need in line with the plane. And now we can draw the circle that is needed. 110, yeah, all right. And exits. All right, guys, I think we need we have everything we need so far so we can start doing our surfaces but before i start with the surfaces i want to start off by doing a projection and combined projection meaning i want to project this line over here this curve over here together with this curve over there so before i do that let's just do curve list this one this one and this one is going to be the, curves in the, the curve list that I need. All right, so now co combine projection, curve list. I want to choose this one. I want to project it in that direction. Then I want to project this curve in that direction. Can you see? It did an arc. So this this line I want to create is going to be in line with this and with this. Okay. You'll see now. Okay. It should join. Once I project this line and this one, it will be coincided with this uh, half a circle. All right. It's going to connect here. All right. So let's do another one. Curve list. Project it there, curve, project it there. There you go, can you see how it connects there? All right, and it is done. Can you see how it aligns with this curve? And it aligns with this curve over there. Great. All right, this is one small thing I wanna do on this sketch over here. So I'm gonna go back, scroll back. It's gonna be important to make uh, make it easy. I'm just going to set a certain command easier at a later stage. And I'm gonna use split, it, split at point. All right, so I wanna split this. I want to split it at this point, this point, this point, this point. All right, and the segments is, again, I'm gonna choose the same points. All right, so I'm gonna make this circle, I'm gonna chop this up into quarters. There we have it. All right, one quarter, quarter, quarter. All right, quarter circle, all right. So let's get out and scroll back down. Now we can start uh, surface modeling. So now I'm gonna extrude. This bottom part here, I'm going to choose to open up the top over here, and it's going to be four millimeters. Oh, but before I do that, let me just change the color over here. All right now, I can extrude four millimeters. There we have it. All right now, I want to use revolve. I'm going to use this curve list at the bottom here, and I want to say this should revolve this axis over here by 360 oh and i want it to add to the bottom surface so let's add it to the bottom surface there we go meaning less things to stitch all right all right so now we can start off with these funny looking curves over here so to do that i'm going to use the curve mesh so curve mesh, I'm going to choose now the U curve segments that I need. So I'm going to say, 
I'm gonna put this on curve. I wanna say I want the first you go, you um first you G zero. Okay, it's gonna be this one. This is something I'm forgetting here. Yeah, I'm forgetting one more thing, all right? And this is important, which is I'm going to extrude this and this, okay? Why? Because when I apply the G, G1, which is the continu continu continuity, right, to make a tangent, so that the surfaces can connect together smoothly without leaving any mark or any line. All right, so let's just say this is 15. All right, let's give it some depth. There we go. All right, I don't know why is it overlapping there. All right. Here, 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 fifteen. Okay. All right. So now I can do my curve. I'm gonna use this and this curve as my first U. Okay. I'm gonna choose this quadrant as my last u right but i'm not going to apply any tangency here okay so let's continue so now my first v curve is going to be this edge over here now here i'm going to add g1 okay and select now the next point is going to be the curve over here. There we go. And here I'm not going to apply any continuity. All right. So let's click OK. And there we have it. All right. So now we can erase these uh, these surfaces well not this one exactly uh, I'll erase it afterwards once I did I do this part over here then I'll erase the other side all right so now let's do this again U curves I'm gonna choose this curve and this curve Here, I'm going to add in the V curves the continuity. And here, I'm going to do the same thing. G1, there we go. And OK. All right. Everything seems to be going okay good so now we can erase what we don't need so I'm gonna erase these surfaces over here all right and I'm gonna mirror now okay. before I mirror I'm just gonna do a projection of this curve over here to this face in the direction it's going to be that direction all right let's, let's do this again project to face this curve this face that side all right there you go and i'm going to split this face with this curve And let's change the color over here. All right, make it a little bit darker. All right, there we go. Now we can mirror. There we go. 
Fire left to this side. There we have it. And we can stitch also. All right, there we go. All right. So far, so good. It's looking good. All right, so let me just check one thing here quickly and see how these surfaces connect together. If it connects smoothly and it doesn't leave any mark there in the, in the middle. So to do that, I'm going to blank everything. I'm gonna swap visibility here and I'm going to take away all the lines. And yeah, everything seems to be perfect. All right, the continuity here is perfect. So you don't see that mark, this mark on the middle line. All right, so it's perfectly tangent. All right, you can also check this by going to analyze, okay, and see if there's a break anywhere. All right, and no, everything seems to be okay, I guess. All right, good. Let's continue with. Um, our part and blank all. All right, now we are going to close over here, but let's put this back to normal gray. Okay, and we're going to apply. A sketch over here. I'll apply it, yeah. yeah. Let's do a rectangle. This is going to be 10. Oh, that's so probably 11. This is going to be 26. this add and okay let's add some fillets with two millimeters Okay, and now we are going to create a shell of, we're going to give this part a thickness of one millimeter, and the opening is going to be over here. All right, so far so good, everything looks to be going a okay all right there's one more thing we have to do and to do those tears over here on this side in the front so i want extrude let's put the show back on i want to choose Oof, maybe i should create u curves here all right let's choose this I don't need to choose do you cur you curve lists, All right? I'll just do this. Cut through and this will put in All right. Remove And there we have it.
Let me just finish off by smoothing these edges out. So I want to put here uh, one millimeter and maybe one millimeter. There we go. All right, so let's check this out. Swap. Okay, looks really great. All right. Blank wall. All right, all right, guys. So this is exercise nine for surface modeling. I hope you enjoyed this exercise, and um, yeah, uh, stick around if you want to uh, learn more or you want to see more of uh, this kind of stuff. All right, thanks for watching. Until next time.